wanted to show you how to automate this mouse cursor changing the settings. If you were to manually do it, you have to click into your system settings, go into display, and then you have this pointer size. So yeah, you can change, make it smaller and bigger. And that's nice, but again, the goal is to automate all of this, such as screencast on. And I want my pointer to automatically get big, so I don't really have to think about it. So I did a little bit of research and I ran into this page. I'll post it into the YouTube description, but it's titled, how can I easily toggle the cursor size back and forth between normal and large? And there's plenty of options, but we're gonna be looking at this Ventura V13 because that's what I'm using, this latest version, at least the latest operating system of Mac. And if you actually read through this Apple script code, it's pretty simple. Tell application system settings to activate. It runs a shell script that programmatically opens our system settings. It delays by a second just to wait for everything to load properly. And then it tells our application to get the current state of the slider and it sets a value current, current state. And I actually don't really know any of this, but it, it but we're going to just look into it. And then it determines if our cursor is big or small. If it's small, decrease size. If it's big, increase size. And then it actually is able to set focus to the slider and send, change it. So let's see this in action, actually. So I, I put it over here, and I have it in my VS Code dot Apple script. One thing you're going to need to do is actually go into your extensions and download the Apple script extension that allows you to easily run and edit these Apple script files within VS Code. And so again, here we have everything. And one additional is I told my application to actually close afterwards. So I'm going to run this. So I'm going to say Apple script, run script. You'll see there's a bit of automation and now my mouse is small. So I'm going to run it again. And because my mouth is, mouse is small, it's going to become big. Boom. Easy peasy. And that's it. Now we can automatically build our, change our mouse, our cursor size. Um, and we're going to extend this a bit further in the future to, to become a, part of our screencast automation pipeline. Hope you learned something today. See you next time.